Well, coming in a bit before that, there was this line of battleships, line of cruisers, destroyers, all banging away at the beach. And as we got nearer, you could actually see roughly where the beach was, but it was a mass of flame, smoke, and a noise. You, and we got along, alongside H, HMS Vanguard, which is a, a, a battleship, and it just fired a, a broadside as we, it was side on, the beach is there, and they're side on firing a broadside. And we were at the, coming along the back, and it, God almighty, when that, when that thing went off, we, we couldn't, we, you couldn't hear, you're talking to a person, and you could, his mouth was going, but you couldn't, you couldn't hear it, because we all went deaf for about three minutes, and we got in near the beach, and then we started getting incoming stuff, Be, because the, the crouts had laid, obviously, all their artillery, mortars, all that stuff would be laid on the beach. They knew we had to cross that, so they laid everything on the beach. We got within about 400 yards of the beach and we passed um, a rocket firing ship. It was a, an anti-tank, uh, an anti-tank um, landing ship but they converted it to fire rockets, and this had a thousand electrically operated rockets operated by the Royal Marines. And this thing went off. God! And we watched it all went up, and even the whole beach was a mass of, a mass of flame. Yeah, you know, God, people can't survive it. But they did. When we got there, there were, there were still Germans in bunkers and in, in um, trenches. Uh, mind you, they were all bomb happy. A lot of them. They, were, they, they, they all came out with their hands up and they looked like dead men walking. They'd been through four hours of all that. 